Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so so what's going on like musically? Because it's hip hop. What year are you in high school? Eighty four. Okay, so run DMC, that's, that's, uh, that's going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, it was eighty five because I pulled the finish eighty four, and then I was bullshitting around in school. You know how we do. Yeah. And then uh, eighty five came around January. I went uh skip class like on a Friday, and went to Houston Community College. Took my GED test, and then you know I came back. And once I passed, I came back home and gave my mama the papers. Hey, mama, I just uh, got my GED. I ain't going to school no more. I'm done. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. So, at this point, you ain't you not you you, you passed the music now because you didn't dropped out. I mean, you know it ain't really no band no more. If you you know what I'm saying, getting in all of this. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I had formed a, a, a band outside of the outside of school. We were playing and getting ready to start playing in different clubs, practicing and doing that, and. Um, a lot of them didn't want to practice and shit. And I'm coming from a family that I seen them practice all the damn time. Right, yeah, you know right. yeah. So we get there and they don't want to practice. Had the people don't show up. The drummer forgot his cymbals and he. How you forget your, 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 <laughs> your, your instrument? Yeah, you, yeah. You, yeah. That's what you do. You feel me? So yeah. the class ain't got no pencil. Yeah, yeah. so I'm like, man, that 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 deterred me. I'm like, man, fuck that shit for a minute. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I start hustling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes. That, 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 that's that's the thing. So you hustling in the eighties. Tell me what the climate was like with the hustle game. What it was. I ain't gonna say the hustle game, but what it was like in the eighties at that time. Because I'm sure that was when this is the new crack era. Yeah, like, that's this when is the work like, jumped off. Yeah. So yeah. 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 What, what like, was it like? Like how was Houston, Houston at that time? Yeah. It was wide open because everybody didn't know how to do it. You know what I'm saying? No, yeah. They didn't have no connection. You just couldn't go anywhere and buy something from anybody. Everybody had it. Now, it wasn't like that. You know what I'm saying? Certain people had it, and certain people can go to that person and get it. Yeah. So if you want to die to get it, but you don't know me, you better know somebody else that know me, and they got to come and get it. Yeah. And you can't come with them. Yeah. 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 None yeah. of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's when we first started selling rocks and stuff. You know what I'm saying? So it was like a whole new era. On, on you know, on that you know we had powder back then. Everybody was doing powder and selling little weed and stuff. But when the crack came out, people ain't know how to cook it. Yeah. So my old man put me down with it. No shit. Yeah, was, told, was your family already into the streets and I lived yeah, before? Yeah, my okay. family into the street. My old man put me in the game totally. You know what I'm saying? Just taught me how to cook, taught me how to weigh the shit up and everything back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And I used to see him when I was little. I ain't never noticed what he was doing. He riding around, making stops and stuff, going underneath the seat, getting a brown paper bag. Got going in the house, tell me, you know, hey, if anything happens, I don't come out that house. You know how to drive. You drive back to the house and whatever. You know what I'm saying? He'll yeah. tell me certain things to do. You know what I'm saying? Give me little instructions and shit. So I peeped game, watched him and stuff. You know, I had a great teacher. Yeah. And when he started cooking it, he was a, a merchant seaman, so my old man was going overseas, getting all the, all the work from overseas. No shit. So man. all the Columbians over there, they was you know they would pay him to bring it back over here. So when he get on this side, he'll meet the Columbians over here and get it to him. They paying. Yeah. And by him knowing how to cook, they didn't know how to cook. That's just what I'm finna say. So now he so the plug he and plugged, he know how to he cook. He plugged up and he cooking for him. Then once he showed me how to cook, and I took it to another level when we started cooking in the microwave, cooking, cooking the whole ounce and nine and four and a half at a time and shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a job, start cooking for the Columbians. No shit. When they get ill, cause they they don't know how to cook. Yeah, yeah. So back then you didn't teach nobody how to cook. Right, cause that, that was, was that a was secret way. That was a secret. So yeah. I I go in there, you know, cook them uh, an ounce and tell them to see how many uh, grams it done lost. You know what I'm saying? Cause this is why they know how period was and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I got the game straight from the old man. Yeah, yeah. He taught me how to have these magical hands. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 36. I can't explain it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you you yeah. like 18, 19 getting it on. Getting it on. Getting it in. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Selling rocks all night, putting people on the block. That's when you really did give somebody, you know, five stones, they bring you back ninety, a hundred dollars back then, five twenties, you know. You take man? these five stones and yeah, bring a nigga back a hundred. That was a real yeah. deal, you know what I'm saying? And at that time when we was doing it like that, Scarface was living with me. Okay. At okay. See, we had Blast on the show, and he was saying how he knew him from like middle school when middle he school moved. High school. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. So, so Scarface so, living with you with this whole time. I was like, I was like nineteen, twenty. I was staying with my mom, and I had Scarface staying over there then. So how y'all? How'd you link up with Scarface? That was in 88, 89. Yeah. You remember when the first Scarface record came out? It was nineteen eighty nine. Okay. So how how do you meet Scarface? Because because Blaster was saying you was somebody was a Sam Harris or H Time Records. Tell me about Sam, Sam Harris, Harris and H Time Records. Was with me back in the day too. Whatever, but this go before Sam Harris. 
uh, Ted, he rest in peace, he gone now. But uh, me and Ted used to, and Beto, Beto used to. Producer. Producer used to yeah. be with Brad. So uh, me and Ted, they used to hustle all the time. You know what I'm saying? Ted was out the village with us. So we were selling rocks. And so he introduced me to Beto. And uh, me and Beto started kicking and stuff. And I took him out of town. And uh, we out of town, you know, you heard that song when Ice Cube say four gang banger professional crack slangers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We just go jump on a block out of town and just start slanging. No shit. Saying? We got to work. You know what I'm saying? I used to take them to Port Arthur back then. Yeah. Ladies was yeah. wide open. Yeah. So I take them to Port Arthur. We all selling, you know what I'm saying? They working for me and shit. We hustling like a motherfucker two, three days straight, none sleep, and then we come back to H-Time. Yeah. Beto started telling me, got this, this, this little young cat to be rapping, you know what I'm saying? I said, yeah, man, we need to get out, you know what I'm saying? Make, make Do some music or some shit, you know? But at the time, I didn't know how studio time worked at the time because there wasn't no real no studios around him. So he called, uh, and, and he called Bruce. Bruce uh, was do, do producing at the time, too. Grim. So okay. uh, I met him, now, so I'm listening to Face Rap, all right, all right, all right. So called Grim. Grim heard him. All right, man. And hung up the phone on the producer there. He didn't want to. He, he didn't want to deal with it. So we go to the studio. Me, and him, and blast all of us. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Grim make the. At the time, you ain't got no no synthesizers, no 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 nothing like that. We we don't 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 da da don't. Yeah. 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 You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So we put it down. I told Faith if we make a song up, we gotta make a song about me, my little brother in the hood and shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause he was staying with me at the time. He was like 16, yeah. almost 17 years old. Faith was. So the so the content wasn't really like the street content until that to the Scarface record. Like what was yeah. Face more on? Like as far as like subject matter. It wasn't Before that. that. It wasn't that. Okay. I brought him in that world of that street shit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We was dead out the dead end. And he got there walking around with me sometime and see us getting down and doing what we do and shit. And he like, wow. Because yeah. he's young. He hadn't seen the shit like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's so, young, but I mean, you're young too. So he really would. Y'all, what, y'all still, you only what, how many years older than maybe, Face? Maybe two, a few three. years older, right? Yeah. I mean, I'm older than that. Yeah. I okay. Like this. Okay. All right. What bad shit? Yeah. You look like we went to high school together, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm older than that. I was older than them cats. I was like five, six years older than them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and I uh, went to the studio. So I told him, we got to make a song about the shit that we do. What you see out there, we doing. You know, we yeah. packing these guns, we shooting, we selling drugs, we making a life for ourselves. We getting this money, man. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And How much money y'all seeing around this time? This is like ballpark figure. Back then? Yeah. In the 80s, about 50000 60000 mm. I was at the time. Mm. I was buying like two bricks and shit. Yeah. Back then. Yeah, yeah, damn. Yeah, I yeah. got like two bricks back then. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, at that time, you got that kind of money, you like, you own the pocket. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You got to go and die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really? I got maybe the front ounces here and all this shit. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. Then I had a good connect at the time. So, if I needed something, I can go get it. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so y'all working on the Scarface record? Tell me, y'all, y'all in the studio working on the Scarface record? Yeah. You tell yeah. him he got a rap about what he's seeing with you he and your brother and, and everything brother. going on. Yeah. My little brother in, in, in jail right now. You know, he, he been gone twenty seven. So you know, what uh-huh. I'm saying? little Michael Jermaine. You know, what I'm saying they know him in the hood. He was like that. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying he was that type of cat. So we rap, facing the rapping about putting it together about our life when he started saying I started small time dope gang cocaine, cocaine. pushing yeah. rocks on the block mm-hmm. never broke man you yeah. know what I'm saying yeah. he looking at talking about me what I was doing so mm-hmm. he was really rapping in third person in the sense mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. telling a story you know what I'm saying yeah and he say about the little brown Cadillac I had a brown Cadillac little Mike grab your piece pick him out that's my little brother little Mike hmm. See what I'm saying so the whole thing was about us and we gave him the name Scarface don't like to bring his uh, his, his Bring him up like he tough, he rat, he, he bad, he the motherfucker, he the street person. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's and it went from there, man. You know what I'm mm. saying? Then he took it on for me and and elevated it on to another to another level, which I already know he can do because yeah. he used to be in the studio with us. He'll rap all day long. He'll rap an hour or so and he'll talk about everything in the room when we be in there just freestyling. Yeah. And stuff he wanted the coldest, man. Yeah. yeah. He yeah, would rap sure. about everything he see that that cap right there that go on that water bottle. It must be Ozoka bottle. I don't know. It's just a cap right there. Yeah. See the sensor bottle right here. The computer. The, he'll name everything in the mm. room and get a piece, and get the newspaper and you point to a word. He'll say something about that. Point to another word. Yeah. This how he was at 16, 17. Just that cold. Yeah. 
Yeah, Damn. I knew he was good. We all knew it was good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Tell me, tell me about the whole Scarface thing, like just the influence of like the movie, because the movie came out in the '80s. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell me about the influence of that, just on your life and just the street shit, and then in the in the in the, in the how it played into the uh, the naming of you know what I'm saying the record and all that shit. Yeah. When when the Scarface movie came out, we wanted to be that. You know what I'm saying? That cocaine, cocaine. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So because so I hear about it, it really was like that. It like, was really like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But like I said, you just couldn't go to anybody and get it. If you had the connection, you can get in. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You can you can serve people. Now nah, that's what I mainly did. I went from just rock to just serving everybody all the time, just serving. Yeah. But you know, how I got the name Shortstop? Cause I shortstop your people. Hmm. Hey. Don't 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 do that. Come on, I got you over here. I'm giving you two for one. You can't beat this. Come on. Yeah. You know, I go back then everyone used to run up the cars and stuff. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's some live shit there, man. You you live that life right there. You see a car come up, you run, you run, he got his winner down, and you can swear to God, I was six eight. Once I get in that one, I blow up like this here. Make sure you couldn't get your shit in here. And it, it was make, really going down like that. Yeah, yeah. You'll get four, four, five people running to one car and shit, ten, fifteen people. Out the one car, people trying to stick their hand all in the window, but you gotta know how to get in that window, position yourself, and get them out the way. You know what I'm saying? And get your shit sold. Yeah. And then once they know who you are, they'll start saying, "Nah, man, I want, I want, I want his. I want the trust right there. I want trust. I want trust shit." Yeah. 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 So it was crazy, man. That shit sound crazy. Yeah, but it was a life that I ain't gonna say I wouldn't want to live again because I made it through it. Yeah. It made me a great person on top of that, but. It was a dangerous, rough ass street life with no blueprint. Nobody had told us how to do it, what we need to do, how we're supposed to do nothing. It yeah. wasn't like that. Yeah. We just got there and just went a free fall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So shit. Okay. Back to the to the scarf fight, that cover. Yeah. The car. Yeah. Cause Blaster was saying, you know what I'm saying, how it was basically like he showed up, you opened up the trunk, it was like, all right, shit, everybody grab something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want, I want to get to this story, see how that went down. Yeah, we were talking about taking some pictures, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought, yeah, we were gonna take a picture over in the village right there, man, and I bagged up against the wall right there, and like he said, I popped the trunk and started giving everybody a gun. We get, get what y'all gonna get, get a gun, get a gun, get a gun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And me and Face there on, on the front of the cover, and I just had my little brother, my partner, all about the three, three, three two, two was on there. Def yeah. Jam Blouse was on there. Grim was on there. Bruce, we all on the cover, just living our life. It, it, up. Yeah. Strapped, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. only <laughs> seen me in the village like that with yeah. with guns already, so it wasn't no big deal for me to see. This is the first time to put it out for everybody to see. Listen, yeah, this but is... they knew around around in the neighborhood. They knew. They used to call me Uzi Man. Uzi Man, Uzi Man, yeah. So we sit there and. Get all these, everybody got guns and hold them up, three, two of them. You know, they young. All them boys were still in high school. Yeah, that's yeah. a blast to say. Yeah. Blast to say he grabbed the stick. Yeah. yeah. Because he said yeah. his mama was going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Blast to say, too. Yeah. Talk about that because he was like, you were real, like, careful about, like, not having them involved in, like, all the street shit. You kind of yeah. recognized, like, that, you, that ain't your lane. You yep. know what I'm saying? I did. I made sure they came and did music. I talked to their mom and stuff or whatever needed to be done. We going somewhere. They did not see the the whole side of me all the time you know what i'm saying they yeah. knew when they would come to the studio i had a beeper service at the time so i'm okay. selling beepers and everything no shit yeah, yeah, so had, so what other what other kind of businesses you got you got the beeper service and what other like this thing in the studio at the time you know what i'm saying i'm selling yeah. more beepers than i'm selling dope almost no so shit you just couldn't go no anywhere back in the day and get beepers and then back in the day, when you buy a beeper, you had to buy uh, 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 airtime. What was the name of the service? That was service. just shortstop. Just shortstop. Uh, everything everything shortstop. Everything just shortstop. So shortstop if you came, beepers. you came to me and get a beeper, right? It's forty dollars for a beeper and thirty nine, forty dollars for airtime. Hmm. So you know, you paid forty dollars and did. But at the time, I'm getting airtime like six six dollars or something for airtime. No shit. How you get tied into that? Man, you know. Just, Somebody I knew was selling beeper, and I started buying them from him. Then I said, said, fuck it, man. Give me the connect. Let me buy beeper from these people. So I started buying beeper from, like, Viacom and some other places like that and having them. And so I was selling so many beepers at the studio that, that they wanted to get my connection. They were like, Troy, we need to know the name of the people who got all these different beepers. I said, no, I'm paying for our time for all these different beepers. It don't make no difference who got the beepers. Hmm. They all my beepers then. Yeah. Yeah. And no, we need to get a contract and get everybody's names and who beepers, who, who. I said, no, I'm not doing that. So they, we feel out like that because they wanted my clientele. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once I get y'all the names. You can go directly to them. You can go directly to them right. and yeah. stuff. 
Yeah. yeah. So I'm sending beepers and air time. I mean, people just come calling, Jay Troy, I need some more air time. Hmm. See, back then you had to have air time for, for people. Yeah. 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 That was crazy. No shit. Wasn't it? <laughs> it, was, it was a cold world back then. Yeah. 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 So talk talk about uh about three two. We were just talking about three two oh, being man. on that cover, He's man. Fierce, man. Yeah. He he was cold he was colder than face to me, actually. Yeah. Did you did you meet face and three two and blasting them at the same time? All the like, same time. All, the same all time. of them at the same time. They all went to school together. They all was coming over after school, coming you know, to the studio and stuff like this here. 3-2 was just lyrical, man. And Def Jam Blaster was 3-2 DJ. Yeah. And and Faith wanted Blaster to do stuff for him. Yeah. 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 But 3-2 yeah. music was so funky, so live. It's just that we put Faith out first, right? And because he was more street, and that's what I was more into, street shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Something that I was living, and I could see. 3-2 was live, but it just wasn't straight street. Yeah, it but was some real rap shit. It was a real rap shit, though. <laughs> Going for the K-I-double-L. Boy, you better fail, because lyrics get hotter than heat and L. Leaving flat at the scene, you know what I mean? I play you like a trick to beat you like a joke fiend. What see, what saw, the hell with the law. The last one who tried to play me, I broke his jaw. This ain't a game, so don't come with no weak shit. Or I'll break your ass bit by bit. What about the niggas in the past who dissed us? Those motherfuckers better cancel Chris. Yeah. Well, three two used to jam his ass off, man. Yeah, yeah, and then Def Jam Blast to help produce, did some work on on, on the first Scarface record. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he came in and did, you know, he he pulled out. I think in Peace the President, one of them damn songs, he, he pulled out the music for it and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 man, that's what's up. So so Blast was saying too. Uh, he was like, man, you know, one day he just showed up to the studio. And it was it was closed, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you got locked up or whatever. Like what kind of like they didn't know what was going on, like for real, for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? What kind of happened around that time? I had caught a drug case. Yeah. As usual. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know, trying to get this money, you know what I'm saying? Caught a little case. Yeah. Had to go sit down for a minute and then I, I did like two years and I come right back home and uh This first, is like what year is this? Like eighty eight, eighty nine, somewhere up in there? Eighty nine. Okay. Ninety. Something like like ninety. Yeah. Like ninety. I so believe. before that, Scarface ends up uh, at Rap a Lot. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he, uh, uh, they they wanted Scarface to be the new Ghetto Boy. Okay. So let Jay come over to the studio where I was at and came holler at me about making Face the new Ghetto Boy. And he say, "Man, sure, man. I ain't just got the money right now. You know what I'm saying? But what I can do is uh, I can get you in it and you know help you out." Down the line, you know what I'm saying, some distribution, uh, whatever you need, I help you out. You know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to get this thing off the ground. Yeah. I told Jay, shit, Jay, I ain't tripping on that, man, shit. I'm just don't need bricks over there. I don't care about, no, I don't care about this, what y'all got, you know, what you want to do. You can, uh, you can have faith. Y'all yeah. go ahead and y'all take faith, shit, we'll hook up later, ain't no problem. So they, he got faith, and, and, and Beto went over there with him to help redo the beat, and they put the same song back out. Yeah, I thought small time dope and cocaine. I'm like, I ain't tripping, nigga. I'm making so much money in the streets. You know, music wasn't no big because right, the shit was still new. It was still new. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really worrying about no damn music, really and truly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh well, I could put somebody else. I keep doing what I'm doing. I had a whole slew of rappers at the studio.